Basically, we've got a mess full of wiring issues here, and none of the units are running. All right, so we got a little weird one here. Basically, every one of these units are not running. And I've checked the fire alarm to make sure that it's not triggered, and it shows to be clear. So we're going to go in here, and the thermostats are on, make sure the programming's right. I've never been here. So they got a funeral going on, so we're going to check that first unit over here and see what, what's going on, what's not getting power, whatever. That Trishan's already verified it has high voltage. Okay, so I open it up, and just sniffing around, I can smell, you know, electrical, but we've got a light down here on bottom. And I don't know Train's number system here, but these are new thermostats, so I don't know... Maybe they didn't hook up Y, because all I see is G, R, and W-ish. I'll have to go back down and double check, but I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'll check voltage. I know the one thermostat I looked at actually had the terminals hooked up. We'll see if we have power on here. Now, this looks fairly newer, so they've had to convert this to one of those interface boards so they can run with a regular thermostat. I'm no train uh, guru. P7 is probably a plug, J1, 9, I would assume these are the numbers, but I think I might be wrong because they don't correspond with these. The 7, which is the G, so you go to 3, 3 and 5, so these must be up here, because over here these don't correspond with it, so it must be this one here. So these are the ones we need to look at. So, 5 and 3, which looks like they did that, 5 and 3 are your W. This thing should run the compressor. Ah, okay, cool. And I seen a little bit of a spark here, which might be why I was smelling something. Oh yeah, look at this. That just really seems loose. I think that's where I seen the spark come from. You can see there's corrosion in there. I mean, you run copper into aluminum going to have dissimilar metals that are going to corrode. So, we'll verify the powers off. Once again, as always, if you're not a trained electrician or technician in the HVAC field, do not do this at home. I do not want to be responsible for you blowing your hands off and killing yourself and whatever else. So, the unit is dead to ground in between the phases, so everything is dead. So now we can go ahead and undo that with our uninsulated Allen and screws and we'll check those wires. It looks like it's fine to me, so we'll just tighten these up. They're probably a little bit loose. We have to clean those wires up. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to work rather quickly, so we don't have a lot of time to make things perfect because the rain is very near. So we pulled the screw out, cleaned that up with the wire brush that I use for pretty much everything. We'll do that to the other terminal. Here's the carrier unit. So we got the smoke alarm cut in there. And here's the wires for the air conditioner. And the J controller has an outdoor sensor error, which is great. Looks like that didn't get hooked up, that's great. Oh, and it's even better when we just hack wires together multiple different colors. I love it. So I just checked voltage on the yellow. Got 23 and some odd volts and 26 or something on the blue one. So there's Y1 and Y2. We'll get this hooked up to see what she does. So both of them are running. We got some sweating going on, which is a good thing. Hooked our W back up there. It's getting windy up here. Sorry if it's screwing up the audio. Let's see if we can race that. Double check set points. Mix air temp 53, system setup. So we're gonna get through some of this stuff here and then jump over to some of these other train units over there. Hopefully it's all the same issues. And just because it's new, don't uh, don't jump. Jump on to the next thing. That would have probably be why my compressors kept dropping out. Yeah, she's probably starting to go off on freeze. Or it was dropping out a mixed air temperature sensor because it was so slowly moving. All right, so we've got that uh, corrected. The dampers could open up just a little bit more yet. 
and uh, we checked the filters. They're okay for now. They're just the standard ones that come with it. Go ahead and adjust that open just a touch more. Okay, it's hot out here, and it says it's economizing. Occupied, yes. Y1 on, Y1 out, no. Two on, and out, no. So we need to find out what our outdoor temperature is. Fixed air temperature says 72. That's like the last thing we really want. Outdoor air temperature says it's 50 degrees. Um, maybe that's why it was unhooked. That, that don't work real well. Okay, so that's an S bus, which means it's communicating. They had it on outdoor temperature sensor. It really need to be down here on the S bus terminals. It's digital, so it figures that out on its own. So now the outdoor temperature says it's 81 degrees. Your mixed air temperature, which is 71, must be a traditional resistive circuit and not on the S bus stuff. So that's accurate, so that's working now. Outdoor air humidity 65%, damper 12%, actuator position 10 and a half. So now everything should be fairly okay. It's just in wait mode right now. It's been a couple months since I've had to play with one. You tend to forget, you gotta go back through and refresh. Can't do 65 different things and remember everything at once very easily. So the damper, technically, is, since it's in uh, stage two, it goes to a lower setting, which really still isn't all that great. So we'll go to set points, go down to our minimum position for highs, three volts, three and a half on the other. So we may take that up just a little bit higher. Let me try three and a half also there, see where that puts us at. See if that opens up just a touch more. Because chances are, all those economizers over there probably don't work, would be my guess. And this must be in a uh, time delay because it it knows the thermostat is calling. Yeah, okay, see the S bus. So and then you just pick what it is: outdoor air, return air. A little better. Still not quite the 10% that we usually shoot for. We may use that for our minimum. There goes the compressors. Take the low there, maybe 3.75 for the low. Um, Got to go down and double check some of this wiring on the stat, but that's going to get it cooler in there. And then uh, I have one over to the other unit to see if that's running. So we got to get the store back on. All right, so we got that one done. Here's the next one. It's not hooked up either. Uh, what's kind of interesting, look at these resistors on here how burnt they are compared to the other ones. I wonder if that's what I was smelling. They're definitely power resistors, but you can smell some stuff in here that don't smell real good. I love the way they wired the fire alarm. They're just breaking the contactor to the fan. They didn't kill the whole power to the unit, so if it ever triggers and it's calling for heat, it's just gonna run that heat exchanger until it trips the limit, or the air conditioner is gonna run until it freezes into a block of ice. Granted, in theory it shouldn't do that, but that's not a good idea. I always like to break R at the transformer, that way everything shuts down immediately. Okay, so we kick it on and run it. We got 208 between all three legs. Doesn't run. No 24 volts here on our terminals. Come over to our transformer, we got 24 volts there. Come over to this big power transformer. Nothing coming in, nothing going out. So, time to track down some more wires. All right, so we got that one there running. And we wired that one up. That one's not calling, so it didn't run. This one here did. Went ahead and got these done first because that one I'm on prior to this basically wasn't working right. So it's a lot like a test question. If you don't know what the answer is at the particular moment, just go on to the next one and come back to it. So at least we've got two other ones done while we try to figure this one out. Basically, the power is coming out of the transformer coming over here to 17 and 16 it loops to some sort of safety circuit and then comes back and then but we're losing uh, 24 volts to the 13 14 and 15 can't really read the schematic because it's the typical train paper and it's nearly impossible to really know where it goes so I'm trying to follow wire by wire to see what's what's intercepting it unfortunately because uh, like I said I don't work on a crap load of them 
just usually just time consuming figuring out their logic. So we follow the white, the uh, red wire it comes in, like I said, from the transformer to there. Comes across, comes over to the board here. This board's got 24 volts coming into it. If you look down to here, we've got resistors that are chipping. You got marks there that look a little bit burn on that white plug, which was a new plug that goes to this thermostat board. So we're just gonna have to keep following wires with the power off until we find out where it all is blown up and what happened. Still doesn't explain why whoever did this only did half the job and didn't finish it up. Luckily it wasn't us. So checked across our fuse and believe it or not, it's actually blown. So I'm gonna go grab a breaker. So I don't, actually I might have a breaker here in my bag. I think I do. Yes, I do. Good, it's three amps, so that way we don't blow anything up any worse. So we'll wire that turret up there. Let's shut this thing down. I have a feeling this board's gonna be toast. If not, it should be. Doesn't look good from what I'm seeing. Okay, so we do have the LED light on there. Still don't have power coming in and out of our transformer up there. So, um, still doing some more digging. Not sure what all that controls. It pretty much looks about like everything. I have to go down and get my Voyager book, probably go through it. Problem is, when you get on calls like this where half the place isn't working and you got other calls to run, you just don't have time to jack around forever with things like this. Problem is, it's nowhere near our shop, so I've got to get it done before I go if I need to get parts so I can get it all on this trip. Oh, look at that. There goes the fan. Okay, good. Because I do have 24 volts coming back on uh, what would be Y1 and Y2. So the fan just kicked on. It should kick on the uh, rest of the unit. It just came on. We're already sweating. Stage two is not on yet. So I don't know if there's a delay on that. But it is running. Check to see what kind of amperage are falling through that fuse. See if we're anywhere near it. Found the fuse is online. One point three. So we don't have anything currently, unless there's a, a uh, contactor or something like that, or maybe it was that wire there. Maybe when they were putting it back on, they hit it. I don't know. I mean, you've got a low voltage breaker on that transformer so still doesn't explain why we don't have power up here on this top transformer I'm gonna double check that now that it's up and running okay so I looked it up and an MDL fuse is basically a slow blow fuse so all I probably got is fast but I'll go to a look uh, second stage just kicked on and it's sweating you can already hear it so it seems like it's running Good. Cranking out the heat. So that's both the big train units for the sanctuary area. I corrected that black wire, which is my stage two now on the thermostat. Has set the programming up for it. And then uh, this one here, all I could find was a, it's probably a fast blow. It's got some curvatures to it, but it was only pulling 1.3. If they want this serviced, we're going to have to come back anyhow. I think that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, it's already ran once, so we get this panel back on there. I always like to hide my stuff under there when I go get parts that I need because if it starts raining, I try to keep some of that crap out of it. Now, as far as the transformer and stuff, like I said, we're going to mention to them, hey, if you guys want us to check this stuff out and check belts, filters, and all that stuff, we can come back and figure all that stuff out at the same time. But for right now, it's all running. So this one here, I think, satisfied because it's not running now, but it was running earlier. So fan's still running at least. That one wasn't turned down super low. So we're going to wrap this one up, guys. If you like the video and you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Also, there's links down below to any of the tools that I use. So you can want to support the channel. 
I got the Patreon account set up and also got links to the tools that I use that I get a small percentage of whatever you guys purchase through Amazon. So, and you still pay the same price. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.